But if you deliver the exogenous ketones with the medium chain triglycerides, it's stimulating endogenous production of ketones as you're exogenously elevating it. So the pharmacokinetic profile seems to be favorable. And that may explain some of the observations, at least in animal model systems, where we have a better therapeutic effect of the combination of a ketone salt with a medium chain triglyceride together. So I think for listeners out there, I think uh, there are formulas out there where the MCT and beta hydroxybutyrate are combined, or you can just buy the two supplements and mix them together. Um, switching gears though, one of the things that I like to do when I do neurofeedback training, so I go to neurofeedback, uh, which is a type of brain enhancement. We're working various, you know, outside of beta, which we're in now, but mm-hmm. alpha or theta training. And we've been adding ketone, exogenous ketones. And I get a significant energetic boost when I add just the right amount of exogenous ketones. Is when does some, in your opinion, though, I'm, I'm not an expert in this, when do you think is a benefit to adding ketones into a diet for someone who maybe not be on a ketogenic diet or for someone who is on a ketogenic diet? It's like, so when, who's it for, what mm-hmm. does it do? And then maybe some types of ex- exogenous ketones that would be beneficial for people. And then maybe the last thing would be some, some things that you need to be wary of. That's a lot of questions in one, but yeah. I, kinda, <laughs> I, I wanna kinda just go through the whole gamut. Sure. Uh, I guess maybe the simplest thing, if you're doing a ketogenic diet and you're transitioning your body to make ketones and to metabolize fat, incorporating something as simple as medium chain triglycerides, MCT oil. Mm -hmm. So MCT oil goes directly to the liver by a hepatic portal circulation and helps to generate, it's a ketogenic fat. So that's like kind of like the poor man's ketone ester, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then you have, I guess on the other end of the spectrum, you have ketone esters. And we've used, we've done quite a bit of research with ketone esters. Uh, They're potent, they don't taste great, they're a bit expensive, uh, but they do have pretty remarkable effect at elevating and sustaining uh, Mm -hmm. blood levels of ketones. And then you have in the middle ground, I would say, uh, ketone mineral salts, so sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, bound to beta hydroxybutyrate. These are pretty useful too. They can elevate ketones into like the one to maybe two millimolar range, and they tend to work better experimentally. We've demonstrated that you get positive effects on lowering blood glucose, anxiolytic effects, which is anxiety reducing effects, anti seizure effects, uh, you know therapeutic effects kind of across the board as as a supplement if the the beta hydroxybutyrate is combined with MCT. And Mm -hmm. there seems to be a benefit if you're delivering an exogenous ketone, it seems to be beneficial to deliver a ketogenic fat at the same time because it slows the entry of the ketone into circulation so you get a protracted sustainment of that ketosis over time. Mm-hmm. And if you just throw in exogenous ketones, it may actually trigger like an insulin release and your ketones can go up and then it can actually decrease your own ketone production slightly, not a whole lot. But if you deliver the exogenous ketones with the medium chain triglycerides, it's stimulating endogenous production of ketones as you're exogenously elevating it. So the pharmacokinetic profile seems to be favorable, and that may explain some of the observations, at least in animal model systems, where we have a better therapeutic effect of the combination of a ketone salt with a medium chain triglyceride together. So I think for listeners out there, I think uh, there are formulas out there where the MCT and beta hydroxybutyrate are combined, or you can just buy the two supplements and mix them together. Are there any things that enhance this, like caffeine or other supplements yeah. that can, can, can also prolong the benefits of, of, of those stacks? Yeah, it's another good point. If you deliver MCT with caffeine, caffeine's a pretty remarkable 
drug actually if you, if you don't abuse it and, and you get the right doses in but caffeine stimulates lipolysis it stimulates uh an elevation of ketones from medium chain triglyceride and we're not exactly sure why but it has been demonstrated in human studies i think stephen kunain uh demonstrated this and he was looking at uh, alzheimer's disease and he discovered that you know when you deliver median chain triglyceride with caffeine, you have a further elevation of ketone bodies, probably because you're further augmenting uh, beta oxidation of fatty acids, which really are a driving force for elevating ketones. So yeah, caffeine uh, seems to work sort of synergistically with the ketogenic diet. I think with fasting too, it can help people I know my body's much more sensitive to caffeine if I'm in a fasted state. Mm -hmm. So instead of three or four cups of coffee a day, I'll back down to one, maybe two, I'll have a second one in the afternoon, but I tend to back off because your body just becomes more sensitive, you know, when you're in that fasted state. Very so, interesting. Is there any other uh, supplements or something that can enhance that process other than caffeine? And you I mentioned carnitine as well. Yeah, well, carnitine, yeah, can assist. Uh, there's a, some study, I think, in animal models uh, and in myself, I've kind of observed that taurine. So mm -hmm. taurine is, uh, can, I think one study showed about a 20 or 30% increase in ketone production with taurine. So I've always sort of incorporated taurine. I have a, a sort of a, a mix of powders that I formulate, sort of my own supplement. Uh and taurine is in that formula. So uh, I don't use a whole lot of supplements. I've enjoyed, I continue to use the ones that you guys, the magnesium, uh, the uh, Capex is very good for, for large meals. Uh, so I think these supplements are, you know, there are supplements out there that are really can enhance the body's adaptation to the ketogenic diet and maybe uh, tolerance of the ketogenic diet, especially with uh, uh, one of the side effects that I had that a lot of people experience with fasting too, it's cramps at nighttime. It was always in a certain time of night, uh, probably when my body went into REM, I would get uh, cramps in my calves and my feet. And this early on, this was like a daily occurrence and I rarely get cramps anymore even if I do extended fasts and things like that. Magnesium really helps with that. 